Zambonani, hi, my name is African Kize. Um, uh, I met Dabo. Um, unfortunately, I never actually knew of Dabo. I never even knew that he was from Durban. But I got a call when he was doing his first record. And um, uh, in fact, I got a phone call from uh, Duduza Makati saying that uh, Dabo was recording his uh, first record. Would I be happy to participate? So I said yes, because I knew that he was going to be there. He was producing the record himself. And, uh, but I never knew Dabo. So I only met Dabo in the rehearsal. And uh, that's how I met Dabo. I met him at the rehearsal. And I was quite impressed with his level of uh, composition, um, his level of playing. And I was quite impressed. And uh, I'm glad that I, I got to meet him. I'm glad to be part of the, the ensemble as well. Why is it important in this time to have this kind of ensemble? I love his ensemble, uh, mainly because I love the way he, he writes. Um, even though it is jazz, you can feel that he does not come from the, the United States. You know, you can hear that this guy comes from uh, from KZN. So you can always feel uh, the essence uh, of that province within within the jazz music that he writes. So he uses a lot of Zulu melodies. He uses a lot of uh, uh, Zulu rhythms, uh, and he's got another harmonic approach that he uses, which basically marries the the Zulu melodies with jazz, so he uses the jazz harmonies to, to marry the, 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 the Zulu rhythms and, and the Zulu melodies. I don't know how he does it, but it, it works out quite beautifully the way he does it. This is what impresses me the most. Uh, this is what I like uh, about his writing, that he's able to... You don't feel like it's forced, marrying the two. You know, it feels like one, um, one thing, um, and I think he's been brilliant at doing that. I think it was Freedom Station quite a few years ago. Uh, he was not living here in the country and was just coming and doing an in and out thing, you know. And I was like, who is that guy? Okay. Well, hey, you know, he had some other sounds, you know. Yeah. And then later on, I think maybe this was about two years ago, maybe. Uh, where we met and we spoke about doing this project because I was going on tour uh, to Locus and with Shabaka and Ancestors and he's like, dude, this is your gig and I'm like, ah, man, I'm going on tour, bro. Like, you know? And then this, like, the relationship just grew even from there, you know, and we played with uh, Duzo and, uh, oh, he's also played on my album as well. But yeah, he's going to be on my album as well. And... This work he's doing is very important because, man, you never see such big bands with three percussionists, two drummers, two pianos, three horns. Where have you seen that, man? Mm -hmm. uh, talk about jazz. Yeah, yeah. This is how the jazz is. South Africa style. You don't hear like nicely.